Um, so I'm here to talk about uh, an incubating project at Apache called Apache Stratos. Basically, Apache Stratos is a, a PaaS framework from the Apache community. Uh, this was initially developed and maintained by WSO2 some time back, but it was donated to Apache about a year ago. And the good news is that once uh, it has been donated for the past year or so, it has been evolving uh, with the Apache community. And also, um, it has been undergoing major revamp in terms of architecture design um, as an Apache project. So what is Apache Stratos? Basically, it is a platform as a service framework. In simple terms, what it is capable of is that it is capable of allowing you to introduce services into your platform and uh, scale them up or down based on the load on a choice of a uh, 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 infrastructure as a service cloud. So it, it allows you to bring in development services. When we say services here, these are not web services or red services. They are things such as you can have uh, application programming frameworks, databases, legacy applications, etc. So uh, this platform allows you to bring those applications and easily develop software as a service applications on top of that as a programmer. Uh, it also provides you with the managing and uh, metering uh, services for your services that you introduce into the platform. And it has some foundation services for uh, fundamental uh, requirements such as user management, billing, storage, etc. as a uh, uh, platform uh, foundation services. So this is the architecture of uh, Apache Stratos. Uh, which has been designed by the community after it has been donated. So this is the latest and the greatest architecture. One of the key uh, aspects in here is the fact that we have a message bus which connects all the elements in the infrastructure. So it loosely couples the elements in the architecture and uses the message bus to uh, adhere to a pubs up model of communication so that it allows components being added and removed. So at the bottom most layer, you have multiple infrastructure clouds. Apache Stratos is capable of dealing with multiple uh, clouds such as CloudStack, EC2, or whatever uh, that you would like to uh, uh, use. And then uh, on your left-hand side of the screen, you see the Stratos controller, which deals with things such as auto-scaling, artifact distribution, uh, cloud controlling, and it also has a complex event processing engine. And then uh, in the services, you can have multiples of services, for example, data services, programming framework services, scaling under a load balancer independent from each other on the cloud infrastructure. And uh, once you have service nodes, within a service node, there are agents running which are publishing events into the something called the event bus. Now the event bus receives these events and publishes that into the complex event processing engine which in turn publishes them into the message bus to help uh, monitor the situational awareness of the cloud so that you can tune provision, et cetera, based on that. You can also plug in an external third party system to pump these uh, events to be monitored as well. And as I explained earlier, you have the uh, logging and metering as uh, framework services, and you have also foundation services that are a must when you are dealing with it. Uh, uh, cloud platform as a service system. <clears throat> so I spoke about service nodes. Now the beauty of Apache Stratos is that um, uh, it has something called the cartridge model where you can um, add new types of services into your platform. So some examples are shown here. You can have frameworks, as I mentioned earlier, application servers, um, programming languages, databases, and the model is such that, the design is such that you can even bring in legacy applications. Now the question is, what is the advantage of this? Now say if you are bringing in a legacy application, you can benefit from the uh, services that the framework provides you and auto-scale your uh, legacy application and also benefit from the other uh, services that I mentioned, such as uh, storage, uh, logging, metering, etc. And the other beautiful thing about the Stratos architecture is that when we talk about these uh, cartridges, it is not only about the web traffic, it is also capable of dealing with non 
uh, web-oriented traffic, so non-HTTP traffic. For example, you can scale up or down, uh, for example, thrift services, if your transport is thrift. So uh, that is useful because uh, in your legacy applications, there could be some applications which are non-HTTP and also uh, there are some uh, state-of-the-art applications which are using non-HTTP protocols for various reasons. Maybe they are not much interoperable, but enterprises are uh, supposed to use them in some situations. So your cloud can support those protocols as well. And it has comprehensive DevOps tooling for you to help um, uh, tune uh, the infrastructure provision, the infrastructure, et cetera. As I mentioned earlier, we have an event bus. So events that are published into the event bus are collected by the complex event processor. And these metrics can be gathered to process. And this is an example screenshot where the DevOps can monitor the state of the cloud system and uh, make uh, provisioning or capacity planning decisions. <coughs> so why should you bother about Stratos? So as I mentioned earlier, the ability to deal with HTTP as well as non-HTTP traffic in terms of anything can be scaled up and down using the cloud infrastructure you get with this PaaS framework. And it is also has a unique advantage in terms of cloud bursting. It can simultaneously cloud burst into multiple infrastructure as a service clouds. For example, if you have a private uh, cloud and if you get a burst of load, and if you want to use a public cloud, maybe EC2 or some other uh, provider, uh, while keeping your existing cloud, you can offload the rest of the load into these uh, multiple clouds that are outside uh, of your infrastructure and burst into the cloud. And it also has the cap capability of dealing uh, multi-zone, multi-data center uh, support, so uh, uh, you can again, um, deal with uh, large volumes of load in the system. And the other interesting thing about Stratos architecture is its ability to deal with uh, tenant isolation at multiple levels. The most interesting aspect is it supports in-container multi-tenancy, which means that given an instance of a service node, you can have multiple tenants isolated in the same in instance. Uh, and also it can have operating service uh, layer uh, tenancy isolation or virtual machine layer tenancy isolation or physical machine layer tenancy isolation. Uh, so out of these, the in-container uh, tenant isolation is the most uh, um, appealing one because it gives you the highest multi-tenancy density. Like how many tenants can be parallelly supported at a given point in time is highest with in-container um, multi-tenancy. So as I told you, it is an Apache project. It is still in incubation. Hopefully it will graduate um, once uh, the requirements are fulfilled. But it has been a huge success as an Apache project. We would love you to uh, come and try it out. And more importantly, not only try it out, be part of the project. Uh, you can join the community, contribute, contribute at the code level, or you can also help extend the platform by bringing in your Apache project into the a cartridge model and uh, adding um, uh, the new cartridges into the cartridge, cartridge uh, store. And uh, I have given the link of the website. There are a lot of uh, activities happening on uh, uh, social media as well. Um, you can participate and track uh, this. I would also like to invite you to come and uh, have a chat with some of our committees are doing a hackathon uh, outside today and tomorrow. So they will be around. If you like to participate, please come and join us. And also, if you have questions, there will be technical people, um, uh, including myself, as well as people from the project. Uh, uh, several committees are available in the hackathon area uh, to answer your questions. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>